Welcome to Grey Unit. We are asked to solve this problem. We are to find the area of the blue region. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we need to find the diagonal of this rectangle. But before that, we need to draw a line from this point. And we continue this line. And this should be perpendicular. And if this is 2, then this is also 2. And we need to draw again a line from this point to this point. Up to this point. And we label this diagonal as D and that is equal to the square root of 5 plus 4 square plus 2 square and that will give us D is equal to 81 9 square is 81 plus 4 and the diagonal is equal to the square root of 85. Okay, so next is we find the length of this rectangle. So the length is equal to L is equal to the square root of the diagonal, which is the hypotenuse. But you need to square that, so 85 square minus 7 square. So this will give us 85 minus 49. That will give us L is equal to square root of 36 and L is equal to 6. Okay, so next thing that we need to do is we need to label this line as x and this is y. And if this is x and this total is 7, then this would be 7 minus x. And this should be 9, uh, 4 minus y. So the total for the hypotenuse should be 9 minus y. And this is already equal to 6. Okay. Okay. So next thing is we notice that this angle is actually congruent, and therefore these two right triangles are actually similar because they have two. I mean, they have three angles that are actually congruent: the ninety degree angle, this angle, by vertical angle theorem, and this angle should be also equal. Because these two angles are already equal. Okay, so having two triangles similar, we can say that if we focus on this smaller triangle first, then we have y over 2 is equal to 7 minus x all over 6, and that will give us 6y equal to 14 minus 2x and 2x plus 6y is equal to 14 and this will be our equation 1 and next is we focus on the adjacent side over the hypotenuse so we have 2 over x is equal to 6 all over 9 minus y. And if we cross multiply, we have 18 minus 2y is equal to 6x. So 6x plus 2y is equal to 18. And this would be our equation 2. Okay, so now to solve these two equations, equation 1 and 2, we can actually multiply the second equation by 3. So we have 
6x plus 2y is equal to 18 times 3. So we have 18x plus 6y is equal to 54. So next is we subtract the first equation. So we have the first equation to be 2x plus 6y is equal to 14. And if we subtract this, this cancels out. So we have 16x is equal to 14. And if we divide it by 16, both sides, then we have 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5 over 2. So we have x is equal to 5 over 2 or 2.5. And for the value of 7 minus x, 7 minus x is equal to 7 minus 2.5 and that would be equal to 4.5. And next is we are going to find the value of y. So y is actually equal to, from the second equation, y is equal to 18 minus 6x all over 2. y is equal to 18 minus 6 times 2.5 divided by 2. 6 times 2.5, this becomes... 15. So 18 minus 15 is actually equal to 3 over 2. So y is equal to 1.5. Okay, so for the final step is we are now ready to find the area of this um, blue region. So we have, we can actually dissect this into two parts. So we have so the first should be the this large right triangle one half area is equal to one half times the base which is six times seven minus x is equal to four point five earlier and we need to add this four by two then we need to subtract this small right triangle so we have y is actually 2.5 one half i mean subtract one half times 1.5 times 2. okay so for the final step is we simply cancel this 6 and 2 this becomes 3 times 4.5 then that would be 13.5 plus 8 so this becomes 1.5 minus 1.5. So 13.5 minus 1.5 is actually 12 plus 8, 20. So the area is actually equal to 20 square units. Okay, so for the second method is we are going to get the area of this triangle and this triangle and if we label this as a and we label this as b and if we get the difference of the two areas we have a minus b then that b this part of B, if we put this inside this white right triangle, then there is a small portion that is unshaded. And that small portion that will be unshaded, we will deduct that from half of this half of this rectangle, the biggest right triangle with the diagonal as the hypotenuse. Okay, so next is we label this distance as x, this segment, this one, as x, and this segment as y, or 2 minus x, rather, 2 minus x. Okay, so by similarity is we have x over 4 
is equal to this distance which is 2 over this distance the whole length and that is actually 9 so we have x is equal to 4 times 2 8 over 9 and 2 minus x is actually equal to 2 minus 8 over 9 is equal to 18 minus 8 over 9 and that would be 10 over 9 okay so next is we get the value of a minus b and a is actually one half times the base which is 5 times 2 minus x which is 10 over 9 and minus b which is 1 half times the base which is uh, x and that would be 8 over 9 and the height could be 4 okay so simplifying this we have this becomes 5 so 25 over 9 and this becomes 4 times 4 is 16 over 9 so we have here actually 9 25 minus 16 is 9 over 9 or a minus b is equal to 1 Okay, so next is we find the area of this blue region. So the area of the blue region is actually equal to the area of the half of the rectangle and that is a right triangle. That is 1 half times 6 times 7 minus A minus B. And A minus B is actually 1. So this becomes 1. So this becomes 3 times 7, 21. And we need to subtract 1. So area of the blue is actually equal to 20 square units. Same as the answer that we got earlier. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.